Welcome to Explain Everything, the only la app you'll ever love. Explain Everything is a multimedia, interactive app you can use to teach a lesson or have your students show you what they know. To create a new document, when you open Explain Everything, you're going to see a library. This is my current library of all the projects I have in it. To create a new document or a new slideshow, you're going to select the plus button. The plus button will allow you to create a blank document. The plus button with the document allows you to create an explain everything document with a document that already exists, for example a PDF or a photograph. Explain everything has a variety of tools that make this extremely easy to use. The first tool is the hand tool or the move tool. This allows you to move documents, pictures, and text all over the page as well as shrink it or enlarge it. Next is the add a slide tool. By tapping this icon you can add as many slides as you think you need for the production. At the bottom when you look down below you'll see the slide reader. It tells you how many slides you have and which one you're working on. Next we have the pencil tool. The pencil tool allows you to handwrite anything that you'd like instead of typing. Um, kind of fun for drawing or you, if you like to handwrite more than you like to, to type then this is a tool for you. The next tool is the shapes tool and I'll show you the different shapes that are available. The shapes tool allows you to add circles, and squares, and triangles, and arrows, and stars, things like that. Um, you can change color, they're pretty basic. They usually are just a, a solid shape with a little shadow in the background. The next tool, the A tool, is a typing tool. You select the A and your keyboard shows up and you can type in a text box anywhere you'd like on your screen. This tool is the Add a Document tool. I use this one most of the time. This is where you can add images, photographs, video, other documents in PDF form, uh, just about any type of document you have stored on your iPad you can insert or include in an Explain Everything presentation. Next, the eraser is used only when you have your pencil tool highlighted. So when you have something that you've written in pencil, you can use the eraser to get rid of it if you don't like it. This tool is the most fun. This is your laser pointer tool. This allows you to track under your reading with a laser pointer. There's a, a lightsaber and I'll show you just a couple. This is the arrow pointer. It's using that arrow, the uh, laser pointer tool. The kids really love the lightsaber because it makes noise and it kind of high tech but it's a lot of fun. This is the inspector tool. When you open this tool it allows you to group, ungroup, lock things down, it selects things. It's kind of the old inspector on any of the um, Apple apps where you can, like in Pages or Keynote or any of those, it's the same thing as the inspector. This is your undo tool. Anything that you put in other than handwritten stuff, if you want to get rid of it, just undo it with the undo tool. This next tool is a zoom tool. I don't use it very often, but it can come in handy. This last tool just collapses your toolbar. When you tap this toolbar, the entire toolbar collapses down to just the basic tools, and you can tap it again to open up your tools. And lastly, on this toolbar, this is your color palette. You can change these colors just by tapping on them and selecting a new color. The, you notice that the black box is indented. That means anything that I create, whether it be type or a shape or anything that I want to put on the screen at this point is going to be black because the black box is indented. If I want it to be red, I can indent the red. If I want it to be blue, I indent the blue. The last set of tools are at the bottom of your presentation slide, and some of these are the most important. The first one you'll see is the slide counter. It tells you how many slides that you have and which one you're working on. <coughs> you can manually play your slideshow forward and backward by using these two different arrows. This is forward, and this one is backward. Next, you have your record button. In order for Explain Everything to be saved as a video, you must either narrate each slide or by muting your microphone, you can animate it. It will only become a movie if every slide is either narrated and or animated, and you can do both. This allows you to play back and play what you have on each, on each slide. 
The play button has two functions. If you play it just as it is, it will play the slide. If you, do, if you press it down twice, you'll get a gold arrow above. That will play it as a movie. Next you have the counter. This tells you how long your audio or your animation is. And the only downside of explain everything is you can't delete part of your either animation or narration. You have to record over the entire thing. That's one of the things that I hope they fix. The microphone, obviously I'm using it right now, but if you go into settings and you disable it, that allows you to animate your slide without using any vocal narrations. Next, we have the three options for importing and saving. The first icon shows you're going to be saving your Explain Everything as still photographs, almost like in the old iPhoto slideshow. And that's a still that will be saved in your camera roll. This next icon, you're going to save your completed project as a video, and from there you can upload it to YouTube or Vimeo or any of the other file sharing services. Explain Everything is one of the few apps that you absolutely have to save your document. This is your save document. Whenever you add to it, you want to save it. It will ask you if you want to overwrite it, and then you're always going to say yes. And the last icon is your home icon. If you tap on your home button, that shows you what's in your library as well as asks you if you want to save an, an unfinished product. Let's get started.